Hello, it's me again, not the Annie. So, it's time to pick her next palette for this month's challenge. Now, I'm going to give her a little twist this time. In this is the first one. Yes, I said first one. Let's see, there we go. You can see it's a fairly neutral. and combining it with this one. I get used to where this camera focuses. There we go. Now, also you notice I haven't said what the names of these were yet. That's because she's in the room. And I'm going to give her a surprise. And I'm giving her a surprise in more ways than one. See this lovely little box? Here we go. I'm putting them in there. And leaving them on her desk. Surprise! Hello! It's me. This time it is the Ann. Just saying. Anyway, yes, I couldn't see what he was doing because I was laying with a pillow over my head. But, yeah, the isolation booth is not really very good so I would have heard whatever he said so I'm sitting here with the box the smart Alec and I'm gonna see what is hiding in here oh my okay the color workshop grays And bad habit aftershock. Yay, where'd the camera go? I can never tell anymore. Yeah. I have to check the monitor to know where I am with the camera, so yeah. Aftershock is a really intensely colorful palette. And if I was doing something like trying to get ready to go to a festival, which I've never actually done that, closest I've ever been to a quote-unquote festival is a Ren Festival, which is not the same thing. <laughs> I didn't do concerts when I was a teenager or a young adult, and I still don't. It was, I was just never that into that kind of big crowd. I'm going to set this over here out of the way. And... I'm going to set these aside for a second so I can finish getting set up because I don't have my mirror or anything here. I've got on my um, skincare stuff like the Apto and my moisturizer and my lash accelerator from Rimmel and that kind of thing but I haven't done anything else so there the naked face other than you know like I said the moisturizer and that kind of thing um, since 
it's fairly late in the day for me here with 625 in the evening on Sunday evening I'm not going to put on the sunscreen or the anti-sweat I'll pick one of my primers when I crawl into the drawer and a foundation and when I pop back up I should have my foundation on and possibly primered uh, po excuse me possibly powdered and have my mirror and everything set up so I can get into the rest of this I shall return Alrighty, I'm back and I've got my foundation on. I powdered or powdered it a bit. I used the the Tarte base tape sample, and even though my Wet n Wild foundation usually sets down really really well, pretty quick after I put it on with pretty much any other primer or no primer at all. It wanted to stay sticky this time, so I powdered it down a little bit. And no, I haven't done my eyebrows yet. I just took a spoolie and combed the foundation and powder out of it. And then I used my AOA Studio White Base so I would have something to work with because with with these really bright colors sometimes that's the only way to get started now and speaking of getting started I am going to start with this one the gray palette no there are no names I'm going to take probably this shade right here because it's pretty much a matte. Some of these are satin, some of them are glitters, some of them are mattes, and there's not a lot of rhyme or reason in the palette. Anyway, this is just a basic mid-tone gray, and I'm just going to start just kind of more tapping it in than trying to brush it in right now because that eye base is still really sticky as it starts to settle down once I get some of the shadow powder on here I can start being a little more you know swirly and swipey and all that lovely stuff now let's remember I have hooded eyes See, if I open, sit with my eyes open and just stare straight ahead, my camera is at a slight up point. But almost all of this lower lid disappears back here into the folds. And that's because the upper lid is so loose and floppy, it just folds right down over top of the lid. <clears throat> over top of the mobile section. Whether you have hooded lids or deep set lids, you are deep set eyes, you are going to have some of the same problems because of folding in like that, you get transfer between the sections, especially on glitters. You also end up with a bit of 
with some of the transfer depending on your colors you can end up with some patchiness because it'll transfer the colors between the lid sections so you end up with a pile of a color in one spot very often the upper area and place part of the parts that get folded under start looking kind of naked because it's it's kind of rubbing off as it goes past and then collecting at the top of the last little bit there so you know this area through here starts looking kind of dull and patchy and you end up with a really heavy line right at the top of where you're creating your crease and that's literally just from transfer then you have people with great those great big doe eyes you know the ones the big pretty eyes with the nice lids that you can just paint on for days because they've got a huge canvas to work with yeah yeah I don't like them either <laughs> now actually there's several people that I that I know and I kind of hang out with by way of YouTube and have known for years otherwise that have those great big lids and those big doe eyes and I don't hate them. I'm jealous of the fact that they've got those eyes but there's nothing I can do about it. They've got them. I didn't get them. That's, yeah, that looks pretty good for a start. Put just a little more in here. Alrighty, now I have to figure out what I'm going to use from Aftershock. It's a pretty intense kind of palette. And I'm going, hmm, where do I go from here? I'm going to start with this bright yellow that's right in the center called Electronica. Now, if you hear that little tapping noise going by, that's my little dog. He wants attention. He wants me to pick him up, which I can't do and do this at the same time because, you know, only got two hands. Concentration fish, yes. Yeah. Thank <laughs> you. 
and now the puppies are arguing with each other because they both want daddy's undivided attention and they're having to share. Oh my. Buddha thunk. They might have to share daddy's attention. I do believe there may be a lady dog in the neighborhood who was advertising for a gentleman caller. Now both of my dogs are fixed, but Finny, at the point he got fixed, already knew, or at least thought he knew, what he was looking for. So, I didn't get them fixed as early as I should have. But Lolly, it worked out really well. She had never gone into heat. So, she's just like all mellow and stuff. But Finny, if there's another dog in the neighborhood who's... Uh, looking for a boyfriend he will notice and he will hope that it's Lolly and Lolly wishes he wishes he'd go to the devil every time this happens because she doesn't see the the use for her to attempt to give him a piggyback ride so she's like not into it at all and he comes sidling up going hey baby and she's going don't you start with me Now, in a bit, I'm going to take a fluffy brush and kind of start smearing these together a bit more. And I'm going to get that other brush again. And I'm going to put the gray back in at the top some more. What I'm using it for right now is just... It's kind of altering the shade a bit as I go over. I've got this spot right here that is just a pain in the rear about wanting to pick up any kind of pigment. Now that color was Chaser, which is that kind of orangey 
melon color. And lastly, I'm going in with Surge, which is kind of the dark, dark, dark pink and or lighter red that's in the bottom corner. See, it's, it, it looks to me more like a cherry than a true red. Red, red, red. Closer to a pink. Sadly, bit of a blue red. I'm going to start fiddling with it. A lot more fiddling. Sorry about that, they both decided they needed to go berserk, so they've been taken outside. I'm fiddling. Fiddling, fiddling. Fiddle, diddling. However, I'm not entirely sure. I'm thrilled with this, but hey. This is something a bit outside the comfort zone. A bit. I haven't done anything this bright in years. It's like, now, I didn't go to concerts and music festivals. I went to science fiction conventions and did costuming. Which is mildly different, but not a lot when it comes to some stuff. Anyway. Now, I believe what I'm going to do is I'm, they, there's this nearly white pale gray in this. And I believe that I'm going to tuck that here into the corner for the time being. Just to start messing with it. OK. 
kind of at least lays out where I want some shimmer to go. And then take that next gray over and tap that on just a little, which has got more shimmer. And then I'm going to take that next gray over with the more shimmer to it and give it a spritz. Still not really the amount of shimmer I usually prefer, but it's a start. Probably go over one more layer of one more color bar because the next one over has got more shimmer yet but it's also darker and I'm not sure if I want to go darker in this corner but what I am going to do is take that really pale gray and I'm going to run that right over this remaining little bit of primer up here. Make it look kind of like I've sheared out the other gray more all the way up. I know it's not the current fashion to go all the way up. Who are we talking to? Last I remember, I kind of do my own thing. It's real simple. You do you, boo. If you don't want to do something like this, you could take a beige or cream or one of the other variants and put it up there to cover that little bit of primer so that it doesn't look like you're naked. Me, I figured since these are the this is the palette system I've got to work with currently. You get what you get. And put that little bit of that next shimmery right up under the eyebrow. I'm going to have to come up with some bright other stuff to go with this. Definitely a bright lip because if I put a dull or nude lip on, it's just, it's, it's, it's just not going to make me happy. And I get that way. I'm just, I'm not entirely certain I like the way this is going, but I'm not going to take it apart and start over this time. Yes, I have been known to do it, but no, I don't usually <laughs> show you. I just go, ew, and trash the film.
Now, see, one advantage that I have noticed, even though the camera is not perfect, having a web camera that's attached directly to my computer is much, much simpler because I'm not always hearing the, oh my God, my battery is running out going on. So, yeah, it's not a perfect camera setup, but you have some trade-off there. Okay, I think I've done about as much damage as I intend to at this point with these colors. So, oh, my eye is watering, so things are getting kind of foobie. Anyway, I'm going to take myself off here, and I'm going to go put on the mascara, put on the eyeliner, and start the rest of this, you know, like actually color in my eyebrows so that they look better. It's like I'm still very surprised that all I did was just comb the foundation out of them and they're rather intense and I'm going oh holy heck that stuff works yes Rimmel Lash Accelerator and I don't know if you can see the lashes I really don't probably not I may have to get one of my face shields out and see if I can show you how long the lashes are or something. Anyway, I will work on that shortly. But I'm going to turn the camera off and go do all the rest of this stuff offline so that this doesn't go on for days. I'll be back in a bit. All right. I'm back, and yes, I'm hiding behind the fan currently. I want to explain. First of all, one eye is not in the best shape because shaky hands, old crepey eyes. However, way back when, in my early days, I used to do the midnight movie where they would show Rocky Horror motion picture show. And I was part of the floor show, which means we put on costumes and got on the floor just below the movie, under the movie screen, and played out the movie since the original was in fact a stage play and not that first not that film that is everybody's familiar with with Tim Curry. Um, if you're not familiar with the film, go look it up. It'll be worth your while. It'll definitely be worth your time. <laughs> anyway, Now, the right eye looks pretty good for where I put the lines to the way I used to do them for the movie. The left eye definitely did not come out so well because my hands were shaking and my eyes are significantly more hooded and crepey than they used to be, so it's thick and blotchy. However, How do you do I see you've met my faithful handyman? No, I did not play Frankenfurter. I was one of the guests. 
but I did sing quite a few of the female songs because some of the other players were not that good at the singing. And at the time, before the COPD wrecked my throat and all that other stuff, I did pretty well with singing not only those songs, but some others. Now, black eyeliner. I used my little pieces of a Sephora pencil that came in one of my boxes to do the tight line and the water line. I used Elf Bordeaux for the lips. And I went absolutely crazy with the Face Candy Unicorn Glow highlighters. I just, wherever I got near, I just landed on a highlighter and put it everywhere. I wish I still had my earrings from back then. They were wonderful. But see, this one's all crepey and, and the line is crappy. This one's not so bad. It's not perfect, but it's not nearly so bad. I'm going to have to take all my stills doing this so that nobody can see the other eye. Anyway, first look for the day. First look for the new selection. I think I'm probably going to scare the hell out of my husband. Wait a minute. I may have earrings that will work. Let me look. Let me look. Woo! Wait! Wait! Come here, you! Come loose! Yes! You! Because you have to have outrageous earrings to go with this. You really do have to have outrageous earrings. Outrageous earrings big and clunky and and bright and yeah let me find the other one yeah yeah this will work big and outrageous and clunky and bright and 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 I need a different shirt but I don't have anything that's like just right anymore There. Big ol' earrings. I hope you had fun. I had a blast. It's just, I saw those colors and started playing with them. And I picked up that Sephora pencil and started doing the tight line and the water line. And I said, oh my God, I look like I'm getting ready for <gasps> Rocky. So, make sure I don't have too much lipstick on my teeth. They look bad enough as it is. Anyway, if you had fun, I hope you come back. If you didn't like it, go ahead and tell me. Just give me a good reason. Don't just do the, the oh, icky poo ish wah. I've got a few more looks to do out of this palette set. And that'll be going on the rest of the week. And there should be probably two more. And at least one cream. And we'll hope that all works out on my schedule. See you next time. Remember, I don't keep bail money. Be good.